find information on African American life in 1903. I can do extensive newspaper research online. I'm looking for my ancestors. I've discovered unusual weather patterns in 1883. I'm doing research on the temperance movement in Kentucky. I found a gentleman from Mississippi. The University of Kentucky Libraries has a long and rich history with newspapers, starting with microfilming in the early 1950s. And in the 1980s, UK was an original participant in the NEH-funded United States Newspaper Program. Today, the vault holds more than 30,000 master negative reels. Kentucky was one of the first six participating states for the National Digital Newspaper Program. Thus far, UK has contributed to Chronicling America, 37 of Kentucky's most beloved newspapers, representing all six geographic regions of the Commonwealth. Kentucky's participation with NDNP has been unique because they proposed an entirely in-house digitization process. The intellectual evaluation of a reel of microfilm is vital to the digital outcome. It allows the scanning technician to see that the microfilm scanner has captured everything on the reel, and it allows the metadata technician to confirm that the digital data is consistent with what's on the microfilm. Kentucky is fortunate to have a full-service in-house microfilm facility with expert darkroom technicians who are able to manipulate settings to produce better microfilm print masters, which then produce better digital surrogates. After a reel is scanned, the images are ingested into a workflow management system that utilizes a combination of manual and automated processes. Student assistants crop and deskew each image. The pages are then divided into columns or zones to indicate reading order. In the not too distant future, this step will become fully automated. OCR, an automated software application, makes the text fully searchable. Creating digital access to historic newspaper content opens up the first draft of history to teachers, students, historians, scientists, genealogists, and the general public in ways never before possible. Chronicling America will preserve and make that content available long into the future. I need to find information on African American life in 1903. I can do extensive newspaper research online. I'm looking for my ancestors. I've discovered unusual weather patterns in 1883. I'm doing research on the temperance movement in Kentucky. I found a gentleman from Mississippi. It's really complicated, and we're really good at it.